After six amazing weeks with Alicia, I'm back on my own. Said goodbye to another amazing host today. And now I'm alone, cycling alone, eating alone, camping alone. That's just not easy. It was very difficult to get back on the bike, but I was excited because I was riding to Yorkshire and the start of the Tour de France. I got used to being on my own as I passed beautiful countryside and amazing cities. I endured the highs and lows, including a painful crash right and reaching there. the 8,000 kilometer mark. I was cycling hard and I soon began to see evidence of the Tour de France. I reached the quaint town of Skipton, which was heavily decorated in yellow. I rode on to the Tour de France route itself and hauled my bike up a steep hill to await the following day's race. I waited patiently at the side of the road as the entertaining caravans drove by and the daily cyclists traversed the race course. The day struck noon and the race began, and finally the sound of 189 racing machines rumbled in the distance. Skipton was closed to cyclists, so I started to pedal out of the town. The atmosphere was truly amazing, as everyone was in a fantastic mood after seeing the race. You're a bit late. Am I? I was on the move to my next destination, and the scenery was stunning. I was fortunate to stumble across a TV to watch the final few kilometers of stage one of the 2014 Tour de France. As exciting as the day had been, it was far from over. I had tickets to a speaking event at the Yorkshire Cycling Festival. Um, <laughs> I, I, I've um, loved doing these nights of adventure. I reached Middlesbrough and after a brief visit to the football stadium, I was back on the road cycling through Northumberland and onward to Scotland. Uh, the floor, the floor is super wet. So I'm going to try to get it as dry as possible. It's pouring rain, it's early in the morning, I'm cold. I don't have, don't know if I have a place to stay in Edinburgh yet. And I was sitting in this bus stop and uh, a man brought me a coffee and a bacon roll. And it sounds so simple, but it just really helps. I will always remember that bacon roll and coffee on that rainy day in Scotland. It was the kind of generosity that left me in tears. Mark and his family did not have to invite me to stay with them, but they did anyways. And I will always be grateful for my time in Lauder.